Hello, welcome to another video. We will be taking the limit of a function which is um, a combination of tangent and sine. And remember what I say about limit problems generally is as soon as you see the problem, you want to plug in what this is as long as this is finite for any limit problem. So if you look at it, um, you might want to plug in 0 into 10, you want to plug in 0 here. but before you even plug anything in, because we're so used to cosine and sine, especially if you've memorized the unit circle and all those values or whatever table you've memorized, most people don't know all the values for tangent, but cosine and sine appear to be relatively easier to remember. So what I would suggest, whenever you get a limit problem that involves trig, write everything you see there in terms of sine and cosine only. And that's the first thing we're going to do. Now, in case you're thinking, why do I have to rewrite it when I already can see what's going to happen? Yes, you don't have to rewrite the expression because if you plug in 0 into 10, into 10, 12x, you're going to get tan 0 over sine 0, which is going to be 0 over 0. If you're one of those who do L'Hopital's rule because you're allowed to do it because you're taking calculus too, or it's just one of those things you've got to do, then you can apply L'Hopital's rule. Since you're getting a zero over zero indeterminate form, you can differentiate the top and differentiate the bottom. You're gonna get an answer, and then you try to take the limit, it's gonna work out. I promise you, it's gonna work out, okay? However, what if you're not allowed to use L'Hopital's rule? Well, let's see. So here you have um, an indeterminate form which is giving you 0 over 0. If you plug in 0 here, you plug in 0 here. So what you do is you apply L'Hopital's rule. Okay, by L'Hopital's rule, you take the derivative of tan 12x. Well, it's going to be the limit as x goes to 0. We're using L'Hopital's rule now, which is not the focus of this video, but I just want to get rid of that in case you, that's what you prefer. Okay, so we're going to have the derivative of tan 12x is going to be 12 secant squared 12x and we're going to find this the derivative of sine 3x is going to be 3 cosine 3x so if we evaluate this this is going to be equal to 12 times secant 0 squared okay over 3 times cosine 0 okay and what do we get this is going to be 12 times 1 and this is going to be 3 times 1. So your answer is 4. What if you're not allowed to use L'Hopital's rule? So let us say we're not using L'Hopital's rule. Then you must always remember the following. You must remember that the limit as theta goes to 0 of sine theta over theta is always equal to 1. This is something you will have to use here. Okay? So what we're going to do is you will rewrite this. So there are two identities you have to put in your head. So this could be written this way, or you could put theta on top. Remember that limit as theta goes to zero. These two are the same, whether you flip it or it's the same, or, or you leave it the way I just wrote it the first time. And the third one is the limit as theta goes to zero of one minus cosine theta over theta. This is always zero, okay? You wanna put this in your head because you will need them every time you take limits involving trig trig trigonometric expressions or functions. Okay, so let's go back here and remember what I said from the beginning, always write your functions in terms of sines and cosines because you can see this only contains sine and cosine. So we're gonna say that this is, let's write this this way. So this is the limit as x goes to 0 of, this is going to be sine 12x over cosine 12x divided by sine 3x. So as you can see, I have rewritten this. Now we don't want a fraction within a fraction, so I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by cosine 12x. So if I do that, times cosine 12x, I'm going to multiply the bottom also by cosine 12x, so that my limit becomes 
as x goes to 0 of, this will cancel this out, so I have just sine 12x, sine 12x on top, and under, I'm going to have cosine 3x, cosine 12x. I mean sine 3x, cosine 12x. So I'm going to have sine 3x and times cosine 12x. So what do I do with what I have here? Now, this is where you get smart. You want to create a situation where the argument of this sign is on top. And the argument of this sign is down here. So you can generate 1, 1. And cosine 12x, we don't have a problem with that because as x goes to 0, this is going to become cosine 0. And cosine 0 is 1. So cosine doesn't give us any trouble in this case. So we don't need this. What we need is we need this and we need this. So now let's quickly plug this in. <coughs> So what I'm going to do now is put 12x down here. So I'm going to say this is the limit as x goes to 0. On top, I'm going to write sine 12x. But under it, I'm going to write divided by 12x. Because I'm trying to create that identity where what's here is also what's here. But because I have divided it by 12x, which was not there before, I'm going to multiply by 12x. Just put it here. Leave it that way, okay? Then I'm going to go on to this one, which is under. I'm going to write sine 3x. But I need to put a 3x here also. So because I'm going to write times, so here, we're going to have times 3x also. And then, nothing else, I'm going to multiply by cosine 12x. Okay? So because I put a 3x up here, I have to undo the 3x too. So, if you notice what I just did, I have, you don't have to do it this way, but just know what you're doing, that because there was no 12x down here, you have to cancel it out. Because there was no 3x on top, you have to cancel it out, and everything else stays the same. I should have using, used different colors for this. So now, what I have is the limit as x goes to 0 of, I have three different expressions, sine 12x over 12x multiplied by 3x over sine 3x multiplied by 1 over cosine 12x multiplied by, this simplifies to 4. Well, as you can see, the limit of this, if you apply the product rule for limits, this is going to be 1. This also goes to 1. This is 1 over, as this goes to 0, this is going to be 1. And you multiply by 4, so that your answer is 4. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.